Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 30th of 2023. Well, it is titled M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula and a planetary nebula is the end state of a star much like our own sun. So this is something that our sun might be in another five, six, five to six billion years after it has exhausted its fuel. And what happens in general, at least, is that as a star ages, it runs out of energy, it runs out of fuel in its center, and the core begins to collapse down. So as the core collapses, the outer layers will expand outward and the star will become a giant and eventually a super giant star. And for a star like our sun that could fill most much of the inner solar system. Now eventually those outer layers we believe will become not tightly enough held that pulsations or instabilities will push and expel them out into space. So the outer layers are what we see as the planetary nebula here and in the central region will be the white dwarf star and that is the core of the star left behind. So essentially, what is the core now of the star? Most of the material, most of the mass compacted down to the size of about our Earth. Now here we're looking at the Dumbbell Nebula, also known as M27, which is part of the list cataloged by Charles Messier back in the 1700s. Now what he was cataloging was objects that might look a little fuzzy through a small telescope and could be confused with comets. So in order to help comet hunters, he devised a catalog of over 100 objects that might look a little bit fuzzy, but whose positions were known, even though we did not know at the time what these objects were. And in fact, the catalog contains a number of different things from star clusters to galaxies to nebulae and some of the nebulae are planetary nebulae such as this one. Others are supernova remnants and others are emission nebulae or star forming regions. So while his catalog contains a wide variety of objects, they all have that one thing in common. So here today we get to see a peek at what the end of our sun might look like many billions of years from now. Now while we have an idea of the general process, the details are still something we don't fully understand. When we look at various planetary nebulae, we see that they are quite different. So they have very different structures and we don't have a complete understanding of how the process works to give us all of the different shapes that we see for various planetary nebulae around our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for May 30th of 2023. It was titled M27 the Dumbbell Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.